Hi, in this video I want to show you how to create uh, a submission for the MicroRTS AI competition. Uh, so for this video I'm going to assume that you already have MicroRTS installed. If you don't know how to install MicroRTS, there's a separate video that explains you how to do that. Uh, so I'm going to use NetBeans uh, just because that's the IDE I use to code in Java, but uh, the things that I'm going to explain should apply uh, very similarly to other IDEs like Eclipse or IntelliJ or whichever is your favorite uh, Java IDE or even if you use code using a text editor on the command line. Okay, so I have here NetBeans launched with a micro RTS uh, ready to go. So the first thing that we're going to do is to create an empty project. Uh, so I recommend you to create um, a new project for your submission rather than to directly edit the micro RTS project. In that way, you keep the two uh, source um, repositories separate, one for the core micro RTS uh, program and the other one for your submission. So in that way, things are cleaner. So we create a new project. This is a Java project. Uh, I'm going to call it my micro RTS bot. Why not? Uh, that's it. So now we have created a new empty project. So the first thing we have to set is the dependencies. So this project uh, depends on micro RTS. So I right click on the project, click properties, and then in the libraries uh, tab, you say add project. I look for micro RTS. Uh, select it. And now micro, uh, micro RTS bots depend on uh, a couple of spe specific jars. So you uh, click on add jar or folder and you navigate wherever you have micro RTS installed. There's this folder called lip. You select the two jars in that folder, click choose, OK. And we have the project ready to go. OK, so I'm going to create a new package for my bot. I'm going to just call it my bot uh, and here I'm going to create a new class also called my bot so any micro RTS bot needs to extend from a specific class in particular it needs to extend from the class called AI with computation budget so extend AI with computation budget and uh, if you do that it's going to of course give you errors because your bot does not implement the functions that it needs to implement so we just implement all the abstract methods and now it's complaining because it doesn't have uh, the right constructor right so I'm gonna just add the constructor this is not the right constructor uh, so your bot needs to implement a constructor that has a single parameter and this parameter is a type unit type table so unit type table uh, unit type table for example utt and this unit type table is a, a class that defines uh, the game characteristics. So all the units that are going to be used in a particular game, like workers, uh, bases, barracks, all of these uh, gameplay units are defined in this unit type table. So basically, the constructor receives this uh, unit type table that, that, that defines uh, the units that you have in the game and how do they behave, the hit points they have, how much damage do they do, all the actions they can do, etc. So we want to store that. So I'm going to create a local variable here and I'm gonna store it for now we just pass a minus one and minus one to the uh, constructor of every computation budget this is uh, the time uh, budget that we're gonna have for uh, for doing computation during every frame but that is set later so for now in the constructor we just uh, set a minus one all right so in the reset function uh, we don't want to do anything uh, in the clone function, this is a function that should return a clone of my AI, so we can just uh, return a new my bot with this table, so we have the clone function already. Uh, this AI for now, it doesn't have any parameters, so we just return a new list, for example, and that's it. And of course, we can have it imported. And the main, the main function you need to implement for doing a bot is this get action function. This get action function is called at every game frame and should return which is the action that your bot wants to do at that game frame. Right? So for example, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to return an empty action. So I'm just going to do uh, player action PA equal to new player action. And uh, your bot needs to return actions for every single unit in the game at every frame. Otherwise, the action is not valid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do fill with nonce. This uh, game state uh, player and duration. This function fill with nonce, what it says is for to, to every unit in the game that we have not issued an action, just issue the empty action, right? Like do nothing for 10 game frames. And that's it, right? 
and we're going to return this action. So this bot basically does nothing. It just, uh, the game will start and the bot will do nothing, but it is a bot. So we have it ready. Uh, so if we just wanted to test our bot, uh, so we can test uh, bots in MicroRTS in lots of different ways. Uh, just for internal purposes, just for testing, I recommend just create a new package, for example, test. Uh, and here, if you go to the MicroRTS project in the tests uh, folder, there's this class called Game Visual Simulation Test. Just copy that class over to your project. Right, so now we have it here. And uh, what this class does is just, uh, it just runs a game. So we can take one of the two AIs and make it the one we just defined. So this will be my bot, right? And it needs the table and that's it. So if uh, I run this, uh, let me, before we run it, let, let's make sure we set the working directory and we set it, for example, to the directory where micro RTS was installed so that when it wants to load this map, it finds it. So if I right click and run, and the game came in my second monitor, so let me just bring it. Now we see this here in the top left is the bot we just created. Since our bot returns empty actions, it does nothing, right? But it is working. So let's say that we have our bot ready. Now we want it to submit it. So just build it. Uh, oops. I built a different project because I had the MicroRTS project selected. Oh, no, I'm, right, I'm building the right project. Okay, so you just build it. And as a result of building your project, if you go to the folder where you created your project, in this particular case, my MicroRTS bot, you will see that there's this this folder uh, that has a jar file right there. That jar file contains the class we just created. So just uh, take that jar file and email it to the email that is specified in the competition website, and that's it. You've submitted your bot to the MicroRTS competition. If any of these steps uh, you need additional verification, you can go to the competition website where all of these steps that I just described are uh, explained here uh, in text form and uh, giving additional details. Uh, in the com uh, competition website, you also have links to, uh, to the rules and how to submit results for previous competition. And there's also a small forum if you want to discuss or if you have issues when creating your uh, competition entry. So I hope this was useful. Thank you.